Hi guys, welcome to IIT Starters. In this tutorial, we'll see how to build a IoT smart switch. So this is a very simple switch which is having a two relays over here which can control two electrical appliances and we have a custom Android app which is developed using MIT uh, App Inventor and uh, here in this particular app we have two segments first is custom device name you can put your device name over here and then the second part is about the device control as you can see so currently the bulb status is on over here we have named the devices as bulb and pump over here just for demonstration purpose but if you want you can click on this edit and you can place any name that you want so i'll be giving fan over here as in first one and the second device will be a light you can specify as per your need so we'll click on save and see it has changed to fan status it is showing as on and light status it is showing as off so here if you see this is the light which is showing and representing the fan and this is the light which is representing the light over here as it is in off status so we'll click on off so it will get switched off and we'll press on for the light and it will trigger on so this is a very simple project which we have built um, this is basically connected to firebase and it will be working using the internet also this project has capability to sync if there is a power failure and you can see the status and once the power restores back based on the device status it will automatically sync and get back to the, the same status so this is how it works and this is uh, the entire project is working using uh, ESP82601 so this is a very basic project and a, it can be developed by a beginner so you can try and build it and use it in your home it does not need any third party application except Google Firebase which we are using so let's see how to build this project For building this project, you need a ESP8266 module uh, which is connected with a LD33V 3.3V volt voltage regulator and this is the power supply which is coming. The power supply is connected here, uh, 5 volts. This is a 5 volts 2 amps power supply which we are giving from a mobile charger and here it is coming to 3 ld 33v voltage regulator and from here 3.3 volt is supplied to this esp8266 and the two relay connections are also going to this two channel relay module this is a homemade relay module and you can also build it or you can buy it as well from the market and the similarly 5 volts power supply is given here because we are driving two 5 volts relay over here so this is very simple you can follow the circuit diagram and you can connect it in the same way this is a custom built pcb that we had so it contains everything in a single pcb let's look into the arduino code so the first two lines are the headers and then we have uh, the firebase host url which you have to place it here and then the firebase secret key this is the database secret key you have to paste it here then you have to put your uh, wi-fi user id and the password in these two lines so all these things are covered how it is how do you get this url and how do you get this database secret key if you look into the uh, link in the description the entire article is given over there and you can go through that and get this URL as well as the database secret key So then we proceed further with the declaration of firebase objects through which we'll communicate with the firebases And here we have declared the device 1 and device 2 with the GPIO 0 and GPIO 2 uh, of ESP826601 then we have two strings uh, with switch data 1 switch data 2 to read uh, the data from firebase then we have the setup 
over here uh, as you can see and we have declared both the devices as an output because both these devices are connected with a relay and some ac devices you can connect with them further to control them then we have the serial uh, beginning over here the baud rate is set and uh, then we have this wi-fi connectivity to connect it with your uh, wi-fi um, and then we have the firebase connectivity over here then we have created a custom function for reading the data from the firebase so this is uh, we are using the firebase data one for the switch one and the firebase data two for the switch two and correspondingly it will get the data from the firebase based on the switch that you press over there on or off and in the loop we are calling the same uh, read data function so that we can check what is the status present or the data present in switch data one okay inside this switch a bucket of the firebase project that we created and then we have the conditions if switch data one is equal to one the value which means the device should be on the device one should be on and same way if it is zero then the device will be zero so same goes for the switch two as well and one is for making it on and zero is for making the device off so this is very simple code if you are already aware of the Arduino code you can easily understand it let's look into the MIT app inventor code um, here it is block based as you are aware of if you are not then this is completely block based app uh, environment where you can develop the apps by connecting these kind of blocks and it is very easy to build so let's look at the code so in this code we have developed this front end uh, over here where you can see the custom device name you can add it here and the device control uh, below where the device 1 and the device 2 can be controlled and I'll be sharing the AIA file uh, in the description box you can check it for the AIA file you can modify it uh, if you want and you can test it from your end let's look into the blocks what are all present here so we have uh, first of all we are saving the data so for saving the data we are putting the data uh, we are checking if both the boxes are empty then it will tell you that it, you cannot put anything empty and it cannot be so based on that the conditions are given and then we go scroll down and here we can see the firebase db and the names we are getting the values over here with the tag names that we have put in the, the firebase and uh, once it is called up then we can see here in the when the firebase gets the value uh, it will check with this tag names what are the values present in these tags accordingly and if the value matches it will be uh, again displayed as on and off if it is the value is one it will be on if the value is zero it will be off so same way if and else condition is given over here and uh, if you scroll down we have the buttons over here which will be storing the data for button one button two uh, which is for on and off as you can see one is representing on here and zero is representing off similarly here one is representing on and zero is representing off for the device two so after saving this data it will read the data and then based on that it will display the output as you can see in this uh, particular device control status and here we are using um, if you scroll down we can see we are using firebase db and notifier so if i click on firebase uh, we need the firebase token which is nothing but the db secret key and the firebase url along with that with the project bucket name so this is how this entire uh, app is designed this is how it works this project is divided into three segments uh, first segment this is the power supply area the second one is the ESP8266 which is connecting or interfacing with the internet and sending and receiving the data and the third part over here as you can see this is a two channel relay module that we have built this is the entire PCB this is a custom PCB that we have built and we have placed it so you can individually build it as per the circuit diagram shown in, in the article 
and it will be working fine as well we have tested it so you can build it in that way or you can design a custom pcb if you are good in electronics and designing pcbs you can go for it as well 